Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim's Anniversary Edition update for Skyrim Special Edition. My name is Camel, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly catch all 21 new fish within minutes. Not hours, but minutes. So we will be getting the angelfish, the angler, the angler larvae, the arctic char, the arctic grayling, brook bass, carp, catfish, cod, direfish, glass, catfish, glassfish, goldfish, lyretail anthias, pearlfish, pogfish, pygmy sunfish, scorpionfish, spadefish, tripod spiderfish, and vampirefish, along with a new crab as well. And we will not even be touching a fishing rod throughout this whole thing either, as Normally, you gotta stand around fishing for hours trying to catch that one fish for a quest that you have. For example, I spent a total of three hours fishing trying to catch a goldfish. Three hours. I don't want that to be you, and you don't want that to be you. So I've spent the last couple of days finding the natural spawn points out in the wilds of Skyrim for all 21 of the new fish, so that you can just go out and grab them with your hands and be done with all of them in minutes. I'll also show you how to breed your new fish and multiply them so you never have to go and find them again, making finishing those pesky fishing quests super fast and easy. Along with this, I'll show you how to set up your aquarium at one of your half-fire homesteads. Now timestamps for everything can be found in the description and in the comments. If you are looking for a specific fish, you can check those out. Which, let's be honest, if you've dabbled at all in the new fishing content, well, we've all been stuck on that one fish at some point. Anyway, down there in the description, you can also find all of my social media links. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and be sure to check out my merch store, where you can find unique artifacts like the Camel Elder Scroll Blanket to keep you warm while you fish in Skyrim. Now these fish are in no particular order, and if you like the look of my game, be sure to check out my new full visual graphical overhaul mod list showcase video that I just put up for the anniversary edition. A link can be found above in the cards. Also, if you do know of any other locations where you can find certain fish, be sure to leave a comment. I'd love to learn about it, and you'll also be helping your fellow Dragonborns out. So without further ado, let's get wet, and an inventory full of fish within minutes. Firstly, we're going to be getting the rare Liartail Antheus and the Spadefish. So, we'll need to come to Evergreen Grove, found right here on the map, right in the heart of Falkreath. In the body of water here, we can find two of the rare Liartail Antheus and three Spadefish as well. Jump in and grab them. Even though we only need one of each, eh, it can't hurt to have more. Now we'll be getting the rare Angelfish, more Spadefish and the Pygmy Sunfish. To get these, we'll need to head to Ancestor Glade, which can be found right here on the map in the snowy slopes of Falkreath. Inside is a deep pool of water that is found right next to the waterfall, which is right near the Canticle Tree. Swimming around in here are three more Spadefish, three Pygmy Sunfish, and two of the rare Angelfish. Be sure to snap them up quick smart, as I have seen fish despawn right in front of my eyes multiple times while I was making this video. So as soon as you see a fish, be sure to grab it. Next, we'll be getting our hands on the rare scorpion fish and the tripod spider fish. For this, we'll need to head to Darkfall Cave up in the north of the Reach. As soon as you enter, there is a pool of water. In here, we can find two of the rare scorpion fish. Be sure to grab those slippery boys. And on the bottom, we can find three or so of the tripod spider fish. So be sure to loot them as well. Next, we have the hardest find of all, the ever rare angler and the angler larvae. To get these, we'll need to come to Pilgrim's Trench, which on the map we can see is just off of the frozen shores of the Hold of Winterhold. Once here, dive into the water and swim almost directly north while also swimming downwards. This area of water is very deep, living up to the trench part of its name. Just to the western side of the deepest sunken ship, we can find a small cave. In here, there will be the one and only anglerfish. Snap him up nice and quick. Now from this angler cave, just in front of it, is kelp seagrass. Within this, we can find three angler larvae paddling about. 
grab them, and just to the north of this is some more kelp and three more if you want to grab them while you're down here. Now for this you will probably want a potion of water breathing as you'll be underwater for quite some time, or if you would like to check out the unique headpiece the circlet of water breathing, you can check out my full walkthrough guide above where I show you exactly how to get that, as it will come in great use for this dive and also for the rest of your gameplay as well. Now if you do have trouble finding this cave, just to be extra specific I've zoomed in on the map and it is found right here where my character is located. You can see these two islands of ice in the water just off the shore. It's basically between those two, just down very deep into the cold brine. Next we'll be getting the direfish and more tripod spiderfish. For these we'll be heading to Broken Ore Grotto, which on the map can be found just on the northern side of the mountains next to the capital city of Solitude. Once in here there is a long stretch of water that runs all the way through the cave. Swimming around in this water there are quite a few direfish, I think I collected about 8 of them while I was in here. Now on the bottom there are also more tripod spiderfish if you feel so inclined to grab those as well, even though we already have them. Now we'll be getting the ever elusive pearl fish. To get this guy we'll need to come to this spot right here, to the northwest of Dawnstar as you can see on the map. Now from the northernmost sandbar just off the shore, out a few meters we can find a school of three pearl fish swimming around. Jump into that nippy water and snap these little lads up. I spent about two hours trying to catch one of these with a fishing rod, so being able to just jump in and grab them in seconds, oh how the tables have turned. Next we'll be heading to Mara's Eye Pond, which as you can see on the map is found in the far northwest of East March. Once here you'll notice a small island in the water. Around this island are two schools of three goldfish, totaling in six. Now much like the pearlfish, I fished with a rod for about three hours trying to catch one goldfish. And now with this method, you can get six of them in seconds. Now we will be getting the vampire fish, which as memey as it is, we will actually need to come to Castle Volkia, home of the vampires from the Fort Dawnguard DLC. As we can see on the map, it is found way up here in the northwestern corner of the map in the ocean. Once here, from the dock and all around the island in fact, we can find singular vampire fish swimming about looking for blood. I circled the island and found about 6 or so of them, so snap them up and be sure not to get snapped by them. Not that that's actually a mechanic, but you know, the vampire thing, can't be too careful. Next we will be getting the glassfish and the glass catfish, along with more tripod spiderfish if you so desire. For these we're going to need to head into Blackreach, and while there are many ways into Blackreach, the fastest way for what we need is to use the Great Lift at Alftand, which on the map can be found right here, in the northern mountains of the Pale. Once you use the lift and enter Blackreach, just head due west, over the house and over the hill, where you will see a big pool of water below the waterfall. Jump in here and we'll find plenty of glassfish and glass catfish. On the bottom also lies more tripod spiderfish. Now all three of these fish that we just found can be found all throughout the waters in Blackreach. This pool is just a quick and easy way to get a bunch of them fast while being near an entry and exit point of Blackreach. Now we will be getting the Arctic Grayling. For this we'll need to head to the Nightingate Inn found here in the Pale. Just next to the inn to the east is a little fishing spot. In this pool of water we can find about 6 or so Arctic Grayling splashing about. Grab them before the frostbite grabs you. Next we'll be getting the Cod, and it couldn't be any easier. For this we'll be heading to Windhelm and then down to the docks on the southeastern side of the city. Here we can find pairs of cod swimming around all throughout the harbour. Jump in and grab your cod and feel free to swim around and grab a bunch but again we only need one of each fish to breed them. From here we're going to be getting the arctic char. For these dudes we'll need to head up to the wreck of the winter war, which can be found just here on the map in the northeastern corner of Winterhold. Once here we'll want to swim between the two cracked halves of the wooden vessel, where we can find a number of arctic char going about their business. Snap them up. Also quick question, what happens when you overcook an arctic char? You get arctic char char. Next we'll be getting the carp. To easily find these we'll want to come to the East Empire Company warehouse, otherwise known as the Solitude Docks. Once here, if you look anywhere in the harbour, there will be pairs of carp splashing about. Just jump in and grab some, as many as you like. 
From here we'll be getting the catfish, so we'll need to come to Giermann's Hall, just next to Ivarstead, on the western side of the rift, as you can see right here on the map. Once here, we want to head to the eastern side of the island, where we can find a fishing spot. Now in the water, just in front of the fishing spot, we can find some catfish. Don't be a scaredy catfish, and just jump in and grab them. Next is the pogfish, poggers. For these, we'll need to come to the Markarth stables. As you can see on the map, it is found just outside the city of Markarth, of course. Once here, head over to the stream against the cliff, where we'll see some pogfish flapping around. Jump in and grab them, and make Twitch proud. And lastly is the brook bass. To get this easily, just come to the city of Morthal, jump into the harbour, and you will find them dotted about the place. They can be found just about everywhere and won't be a challenge at all for you. But again, all you need is one. And as a bonus, while it's not a fish, it was added with a fishing content, and that is the juvenile mud crab. To find these, we'll need to come to this mud crab breeding grounds. On the map, it can be found right here, just to the southeast of Jokar's monument. It's the same place that is home to the guardian mud crab encountered in Kain's Trials Quest. Here we can find two juvenile mud crabs. They're really small, so be sure to keep your eyes peeled. So with that quick and easy guide, we have now gone out and found all 21 new fish. The angelfish, the angler, the angler larvae, the arctic char, the arctic grayling, the brook bass, the carp, the catfish, the cod, the divefish, the glass catfish, the glassfish, the goldfish, the liartail antheus, the pearlfish, the pogfish, the pygmy sunfish, the scorpionfish, the spadefish, the tripod spiderfish, the vampirefish, and the bonus juvenile mud crab. So we got all of that within minutes, instead of hours of standing around trying to fish up that one fish you need for a quest. So this method that I've just provided is definitely superior. As stated earlier, if you do know of any other secret spots to find these fish out in the wilderness, please do leave a comment. I'd love to hear about what types of fish you found and where you found them. So now we have all these fish, let's breed them so we have an endless supply at hand to save us from going back out and catching them all again. So for this, you will need to use the fish hatchery, which can be built at the Windstad Manor from the Half-Fire DLC. If you don't own it already, simply head to the city of Morthal, then go into the Moorside Inn. Speak to the innkeep Jonah to start the quest, lay to rest. Once you've completed said quest, head to the Jarl's longhouse in Morthal, High Moon Hall. Once in there, speak to the steward Azelfur, who will now sell you the Windstad property. Once you've bought it, just head over to the manor, which can be found right here on the map, build the house, and most importantly, build the fish hatchery, which can be found down by the water just next to the house. Once that is done, head to the fish hatchery and to the box at the end of the pier. Click on it, and from here you just transfer all of your fish into it. You can only move one fish of each type in, which is good because it means you don't have to burn through all your fish to breed them. Once all are in there, just wait a few in-game days, and if your fish haven't spawned, simply walk inside Winstad Manor, and then walk back out again, and back down to the fish hatchery, and all of your fish should be spawned in the little fish hatchery netted area. As you can see, with a single fish of each type being placed into the hatchery, I now have a bustling breeding ground and harvesting ground for all types of fish. So we now have multiple of each type of fish breeding here so you can grab all the fish you need and then wait again and rinse and repeat giving you an endless supply of all the new fish. Which is, as I'm sure I don't need to say, a thousand times faster than using a fishing rod and even faster than going out and catching them by hand as we did earlier. So now not only do we have all the new fish, but we have an infinite supply all in one spot right next to our player home. This is ever so handy as some fish can be used to cook and others are new alchemy ingredients, so they will be in high demand. There are also some fishing quests that require a specific fish, and some of those specific fish take hours to catch with a fishing rod. But now you can always just come back home and grab one within a minute. Sadly, the juvenile mud crab cannot be bred in the fish hatchery, so you will need to go back to their natural breeding ground to find some more. Now all of the locations I showed you will have their fish stock respawn within a couple of days if you do feel so inclined to go back out again and find them. But there is really no need for that with our new bustling to the brim fish hatchery. Also a little tip, if you can't get an angler for whatever reason, if you place the angler larvae in the fish hatchery, when you return a few days later, some of the angler larvae will have grown into anglers. So that's another little secret for you. 
And finally, let's build some aquariums and show off our new finds. To do this, just head into any of the three player homes added with the Halffire DLC. For this example, I'm using the Winstad Manor because we're already here. You'll need to head down into the basement where next to the ladder is a carpenter's workbench. From the carpenter's workbench in the house tab, we can build the aquarium room. Then from the furniture tab, we can build the large and small aquariums. And in the misc tab, we can build fish plaques to display fish. So now in your basement, you'll have an aquarium room with five large tanks, six small tanks and nine fish plaques. Now to place fish onto the fish plaque, simply click to activate and then select the fish you wish to put on display. You can also activate it again to take the fish back off the plaque if you need to get it back for whatever reason or you just want to change which fish is on display. Now the fish tanks work the same way. Large tanks can only hold large fish and small tanks can only hold small fish. Strangely, when selecting fish to be put into the tank, it doesn't just show your fish, but it shows your entire inventory. So you will have to go rummaging around to find the fish that you want to put in the tank. Now all of the small fish can be found in the ingredients tab, and all of the large fish can be found in the food tab. So once you've got all of that done and filled up, you'll have a lovely aquarium room in your home to display all of the rare and wonderful new fish that you've caught. And of course, you've got the fish hatchery with an infinite supply of every single fish. And what did it take? 10, 15 minutes? Opposed to hours and hours and hours of standing there with a fishing rod, praying to all nine divines and all the Daedra and all the dead gods as well, hoping to finally catch a goldfish. Well, those days are gone and you now have this method, which is so much easier and so much faster. And with that, I do believe that is absolutely everything you need to know to get your hands on all of the new fish added with the fishing content. Which which was added with the Skyrim Anniversary update. I would love to know if you have any other tips and tricks or anything that I've missed with the new 21 fish. And if you do know of any other quick and easy spots to get a hold of some of these new fish, please be sure to leave a comment. I'd love to read about it. Also, let me know what other Anniversary Edition content you would like me to make videos about to help you out. There's a ton of new content and I plan on covering a lot of things, but your ideas always help. Be sure to check out my social media, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, along with checking out the merch store. It's a great way to support the channel and get something cool at the same time. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more useful and interesting Elder Scrolls content. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy. So if you would like to support my channel in a more personal way, you can become a patron on Patreon or become a member right here on YouTube. Your support is most welcomed and appreciated in any and all forms. So with that, thank you very much for watching. I've been Camel, and I will see you in the next video. See you there soon.